What's good, y'all? What's good? How is everyone doing? Welcome to another edition of A Better Man. I am one of your hosts, Truth. Let me introduce the room. First, give a shout out to uh, BR. Be careful on that road. Shout out to uh, Jazz. Uh, feel good. Hello, Alicia. Thank you for checking us out. Hey. Uh, the music is by our artist, Antidote. So we want, well, we, we play music that we own. <laughs> so we, uh, me and Jeff actually own that, um, well, uh, parts of the music, but it's one of our artists. <laughs> you did a real uh, Puff Daddy on that shit. That is your song, nigga. That's mine. <laughs> I was like, God damn. Hey, hey, he owns part of it, too. Shout out to go. Antidote. There you go. Uh, shout out to uh, Frontliners, a and uh, That's uh, one of our uh, <laughs> co-hosts here, BR. What's up, Butterfly? What's good, Butterfly? Um, he is the owner of Frontliners, e and that produced that track. That uh, the artist rhymed, uh, rapped over. So shout out to everybody. Uh, shout out to Jazz, feel better, brother. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, I keep telling you, man, stop picking them uh, big girls up. You know what I mean? <laughs> Gotta do some more push ups. Uh, but feel better. Uh, again, I'm true. Uh, what's she talking? Smack already? No, she's nice. Said, okay, All nice, right, thank nice. you. She Appreciate nice. it. Um, yeah, if you, um, a lot of the introduction of songs, we play our, uh, well, one of our artists, we have another artist. Uh, shout out to uh, Statewide Chip. Uh, we just filmed his very first video. His world premiere will be coming in the next upcoming couple of weeks. So look out for that, Statewide Chip. Uh, we got a lot of things in the works. Uh, we, we try to have our hands in a lot of different pots. Don't worry, it's coming. Uh, we're going to get Jeff uh, uh, some socks. I'll tell you that right now, man. Start a website, man. Uh, my partner in crime, Jeff Shears, a.k.a. Mr. Socks. How are you today? I'm good, man. I'm good. Long Sunday, but I'm good. 
Probably we're alive, man. We had to fill it and yeah, fix thank it. Thank God I'm alive, nigga. Everybody, yeah. motherfuckers dropping like flies in this bitch. Hopefully like, everyone God, had damn. a nice, safe Thanksgiving. I'm really like worried about where these numbers are going to be um, when we actually get a count. I was looking at a lot of you guys, Facebook and Instagram pages. These houses was packed. So, people had parties. Uh, you know yeah, they still had parties. A lot, parties lot of people shit. had parties. So um, hopefully uh, everyone, well, I ain't seen not one mass. I ain't going to act like I saw a mass. I ain't seen nobody with masses. Um, so hopefully you were surrounded by people you know already, people you've been around on a regular basis. Uh, but uh, hopefully you guys, you know, don't don't go too, too crazy. Let's see. Let's see. How was your Thanksgiving, man? Um, it was good. Yeah, well, it was it, it was semi okay. Well, well, I can't lie. It was okay. It was nice and quiet. Um, uh, went to my girlfriend's sister's house, and that was it. All right, what kind of food was there, man? Because we we talked about you know things that people had to have at Thanksgiving. Like, did, did it meet your the criteria? It was all there. It was all there. Okay. It was all there. Even the luma for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Please, don't, don't try to make a plate, nigga. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, but you know the greatest thing about that, you know, people take a plate, they go home. Yeah, uh, it's it's less clean up for you. Yeah, you know, because that especially if like there's multiple people in the house. Unfortunately, you do have a lot of people that try to stretch Thanksgiving food for a week, and it just it's, it's so much you so might. much turkey you could do. Yeah, after a while you're gonna get tired of that shit. Yeah, right? you know what I mean? Because like we talked about, really like turkey don't really have like a, a actual taste. Anyway, nah, you like, gotta season it. Right yeah, now. like you, you have some people that can't season, season it. it. Yeah, you know, but you know, mac and cheese, the normal stuff you can, but like yeah. it, that that and like that that ham turkey ain't like I mean that ham ain't like bacon. You know what I mean? It, it's it's no. a different side of the pig. No, so it, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> not at all. But it it still tastes good. You know, the, the ham probably lasts longest for me because you can still heat that up. Right, you be and doing the taste. Uh, you taste the salt in it. That's you be really doing good. like you know warm it up in a pan. Cause back in the south, what they should do is pan or an oven, in, like in a black iron pan. It, um, I mean? or an oven. I'll yeah, use an oven. oven gets you some potato bread. Yeah, some mayonnaise, mustard, whatever you like. Yeah, if I you if got I have, sandwiches. If I have a lot of uh, meat, like for uh, Thanksgiving, I right. just put it in the oven. Really? Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, like uh, macaroni and cheese. I may like kill the power on the on the microwave and put it in, or like um, like yams and all that shit. I may put it in the microwave. I right. may do an oven sometimes, but I don't want the, that to crisp. Um, but like the meat, like if it's turkey, chicken, ham, what all that, whatever we were cooking, any meat, uh, I put that in the oven. I put it right. Okay. I put it in a separate pan, put it in the oven, and then let it reheat that way. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's better than the microwave where it, it it dries it out even further. But see, that's the point. Yeah, see, the microwave will cook it real quick. I can catch macaroni and cheese if I, you know, kill the power in the microwave. Right. You know what I mean? On that. But the ham, like, it only heat up a piece. It'd be like half cold, half hot. It would not, you know, and it's like, nah, I'll put, I'll cook that as your separate. Shout out to my air fryer. It's coming. <laughs> yeah, I got to get one. I think I got to get yeah, one, too. Got, man. Got, to, got to get I can't do it anymore. Um, like, yeah. we're, 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 as far as the studio, me and Jeff, we're, we're on this big health thing now, gym memberships and stuff, yeah. and it starts with the food. Cut out the uh, grease. Yeah. Um, I, I got to lose this weight so I cut this fucking beard off. Yeah. <laughs> they don't see my chin. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Everything else is good. The week, you, you watch some football. Yeah. You know, I really wasn't watching no games or football and stuff like that. But um, I was chilling. I was just relaxing. Enjoying the time off of work. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay. All right. Before we get started, we got to talk about it. We, 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 we was... Uh, Talking about prior to coming on, I want to give a phenomenal big shout out to Mike Tyson's production crew. Oh. And Mike, because that was his. Well, that, that was Triller. Yeah, I mean, yeah, his, well, his Triller things and part teamed up with him, but with Triller, yeah. th- it was what, League League of Leagues? Uh, uh, man, listen, I apologize, jacking up. League of Legends? League of Legends, which is owned by Mike Tyson. And I. I want to take my hat off to you, homie. I already have it off. Got this, this wool was killing my shit. But um, at the end of the day, the fact that it was an exhibition fight that was put together a lot better than a lot of the other true, like, you know, WBA uh, productions or uh, cards or whatever, mm. I take my hat off to you, man. That, mm. that, that ring, because it was done at Staples Center. Yes. And the fact that that camera... 
was able to go underneath the lights and still circle the ring. Oh, yeah. So the way that the, the, the whole setup was beautiful. Um, oh, we go at least we're gonna get into the We go I want to give Mike his credit. Nate in one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't making the three. That nigga was like, wow. We're gonna get there, but I want to give Mike his credit before we talk about all the Yo. crazy memes and stuff. But I I I I uh, I've never seen we've seen we've seen um Yo. What do you call that? What? We've seen sorry, someone's calling me. Uh, we've seen exhibition fights before. Yeah, but done in where, the professional right, where setting. Where it was done, where it was the, the spectacle, well, and it yeah. really wasn't taken serious. Yeah, and yeah. all these other things. But yo, that was because you you got to remember, it's like when, when we watch those exhibition fights; those are still um, licensed fighters who don't really want to get hurt. Because they have to go fight again okay. for their for their uh, you know next spot or or belt or whatever the, you know their next thing is their line is um, when when with the Mike ain't had nothing to lose neither did Roy you get what I'm saying besides you know just clout or credit just to say they right. could get up and still do it after being 53 and 51 and they both look good um, Roy Jones he added the weight got got up there at 200 and Mike slimmed down to 220. Yeah, he was. Yeah, it was two twenty. He slimmed down to two twenty, and you could still see he wasn't cut up, but he still had them cuts underneath. Oh, them You could see shots. it when he turned. Yeah, yeah. and man. he hit. He hit Roy, Roy still hard. Had them fat, fast hands, but Roy, them, them yeah. body shots was like yo, homie. Yo, Roy, Roy was telling him, yo, um, you hit hard, homie. <laughs> 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 I mean, I, you saw it. It took it, it, it took him out because Roy was used to being quick. Right, he, he had it, but he had a lot of weight to pull with him at this time. Well, all, but, all, also, what I want to talk to people about is like what a lot of people fail to realize: Mike was so used to fighting taller and faster, right? Uh, um, uh, fighters, yeah, fighters, because he knew he could take a hit, so he knew that's, how to cut the ring off, yeah, because he could take a hit because you ain't gonna be able to take what he about to dish out to you. Exactly, exactly. The, um, the undercard was. Fucking phenomenal, yo. Um, the the first two fighters, they were cool. Uh, I I, I like that. That was a true uh, good. That was a really good fight. Yes, it, and is here. it was fast. Eight eight rounds, a couple of minutes. That was the thing. It crazy. was two minutes per round, yeah. and then an eight uh, eight rounds to make sure they couldn't um they didn't go anything. They didn't really want to hurt each other, and they they said they weren't going to do any knockout punches for the for the two uh, those two. Right. Um. The other guys, the two, the YouTuber and the fucking basketball, yo, know, Nate, I'm, man, please don't, don't. That nigga went to sleep. <laughs> you should have never fought him. I don't know what the hell you was thinking. Uh, did you even train for the fight? Because you kept running up on under him and then grabbing him like you well, were the you know, I, I think that's when, you know, how, like when uh, David Chappelle said, when keeping it real goes wrong. I was yo, like, when, when you ain't lying, that's exactly what it I was. was. It, not just that, it was like, yo, when keeping it black goes wrong. Yeah, because like, I thought, I think he thought just because he was black and dude was white, yeah. he was gonna be able to run up on the dude. And when he failed to realize, dude has been training for years because this is his second fight. Exactly. So he's been really training for years. He didn't just train for a couple of weeks to prepare for the fight. He got two years on you. He got training. two years underneath his belt, and you can tell. Six hundred dollar bag. They got a bag. Yeah. No, I think it's probably more. You, that YouTuber don't move for a couple of M's. Well, here's what you so, have to remember about the YouTuber. He has twenty million followers. Yeah. On on YouTube alone, and a ten on Instagram. So bet- be- between the all the sponsorship. Yeah. That he's making, he didn't need that money. Yeah, but it had to be more than that. Whether they went to charity, whether they all went to charity. I, um, uh, allegedly, everybody was doing this for charity. Right. So everything was going to charity. That's why nothing was on. There was there was nothing to win from this. You know, there was like, oh, you got the title. He got the new belt. He, you know, it was his pride, ego, and then, um, you know, the, the money that we garnered went up to charity and it went through their funds, through Chilla and uh, League of Legends. Right, right. So... I know they got paid more than that. Well, I, I, I think mean, the they, pay-per-view they probably walked one, out of yeah. They probably walked out with like a million. Fifty dollars, y'all. Yeah. Fifty dollars pay per view. Yeah. 
for an exhibition fight, yeah. and people were paying for it. Yeah, you without 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 crying or screaming. Usually the fights are like a hundred, hundred twenty, something like that. But it's an exhibition to be at fifty dollars, and it it was really good. I, I'm not gonna lie. They you know they made the ring smaller, so it would force people to fight instead of running around the ring. Right, right. Uh, people paid attention to that. Um, the people that they had under it, it, it was really, really, really good. It was, it was set up. It was entertaining. I think we should have more of this, and it, now more of this is gonna come. Right, Mike, but Mike got the bug. So. Mike, yeah, Mike got it. Mike and, got and the you bug. Look at it, and, and he's gonna do it again. I don't know. We could fight now. Maybe he'll fight uh, Holyfield again. But Jake Paul is worth uh, nineteen million dollars. Yeah, and so he, just he so don't like, move without so he wasn't. He not hurting for the money. No, but he don't move. See, that, but he did. We we go ahead. Jeff will tell you because Jeff's been in, in the, the the industry before, so money was put in pockets. Yeah. On a, in, in the back end. Yeah. Because this is a man. He's a YouTuber. He's worth nineteen million. You ain't getting him off the couch for nothing. So somebody put something in this man's pocket. Yeah. And, and, and six hundred dollars to Nate. I hope that ain't true. Especially get knocked the fuck out. You better give me some M's. You better give me some ends. I don't know if they had like another agreement, like, <laughs> yo, if you lose, I'm a, it's winner take all or whatever it was. But you know, plus they, they you got know they money. Had their own yeah. little side bets yeah. and stuff. Nobody was broke on, out there. Nobody he's was worth, broke. He's worth, Nate Robinson is worth thirteen mil. Yeah, nobody was broke out there. But right, so he he's had a great yeah. NBA career. Yeah, three three uh um dunk contest championships, multiple teams. He's a smart businessman. So. He's worth thirteen. Paul's worth nineteen. Yeah. So those guys wasn't hitting. Now the other boxers, I can say they got paid. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I th- everybody got something in their pocket. A little that bit. That Puerto Rican man hit that dude with that body shot. That man went down quick. Yeah. He was like, "Oh shit, hold on." That was a true fight. That was a that, good fight. Yeah. Um, at that time, I was searching for a channel to pay to, to watch it because I was not paying fifty bucks. So I was Why like, "Oh, I was catching it." I, I, the, the, um, the sports thing. Oh, it had it? Oh, it was, I yeah, it was on the sport. You should have hit me up. You know, I, I, I was watching it. that in the hotel bed like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know, people kept putting it up on YouTube. Yeah, and, like, and they kept shutting it down. Yeah, but then one dude got real slick. He changed the name. And then he, what he was doing in between, you know, when they were doing the commentators, he just put, um, he kept playing DJ. He got DJing through it. So they never took it down. So he was like, yo, I'm only going to put up in the fights there. You know, had the audio in and out, playing music. And got, I was like, oh. Cool here. He got around it. Got yeah, around we it. got around it. He got around a lot of things. He got we got we got real lucky with that. What did Alicia say? Uh, let's see. Just entertainment. COVID twenty twenty was needed. Yeah, it was needed. I, I would have rather a lot of that. Um, I think we're gonna see a lot more of that in twenty twenty. Was this all right? So let me ask a question for everyone. Was this better than the verses? Yeah, because that's how it I was felt. action. It was. I thought it was more entertaining. Yeah, yeah, because like you know, some verses they get right, some they get wrong. Like, yeah, you, you think Monica and Brandy, but the chicks up there in high heel boots. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it just... I'm going to say this, like I said on Butterfly Show about Versus. Versus isn't going to be entertain like visually or uh, um, <laughs> physically, for lack of a better term, enter- uh, physically entertaining until you see it in a concert. So when you get to see a Brandy do a whole set, perform, and then Monica come out and verse and perform. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. It's right. like it's gonna be like a back and forth, one on one, show to show, something like that, and that's what Newsflash they're setting up to do for 2022. You know what I mean? Like it's coming. Yeah, it's coming. Well, um, she gets satisfaction. I even satisfaction. Yeah, I think it's even satisfaction. I think we like hearing the songs, but we definitely want to see the banter and the camaraderie. So with that, you know what I mean? Like cheesy and shit like that. If they was yeah, in if each other's face. we get a story behind it. You and know. I, I ain't have to worry about niggas shooting somebody. You know what I'm talking about? He, br- he breathed too hard. I, I thought he was reaching, nigga. You know, like, nah. Um, but, if you know, we could really get them to squash it and they could do it on stage, like town to town or somewhere in the Staples Center or something right, like that. Right, right. You, you, know you know that's a big ticket item. That's why I said, like, to see that being done live would be right. cool as hell. Right. You see what I'm saying? And, and compared to... You somebody on the iPod just hitting your hit play. Yeah, track seven was cool. I, I, I take you know? my hats off to Mike and his yeah. team. You put together a phenomenal show, entertaining show. Oh no, they did it right. And then everyone paid to see you and Roy, and you know, you threw a lot of body shots. N- no, not many head shots. So I could tell it was kind of like. He him and Roy control. talked about it. He was in control. They said no lockouts. Right, you right. you know he was setting up a combo. Bow. That was Mike. <laughs> Mike's Yo. always was, it was either a body shot, uppercut. Cut. Yeah. Or, uh, sorry, a body shot 
right body shot, right uppercut. Okay. Yeah. Or was a left body shot, left hook. Yeah. Yeah. So th- those was his combinations. Yeah. And I'm waiting for it. I'm like, Roy going night night. <laughs> Roy, you go. I'm waiting for Roy to go night night. You, you ready to uh, go night night, nigga? You ready to go night night? Slide, slide Nate over. Yeah, slide. slide, slide Roy, Roy, Roy can join this nigga. Yo, nigga, why they had niggas in the ring fighting with Nate still on the ground? <laughs> <laughs> yo, the internet's undefeated, yo. They had a photo of the two niggas fighting with Nate still on the ground. <laughs> yo, what I mean. And it's like Nate didn't get up yet. <laughs> All right, Nate Robinson, we prolonged it enough. Yeah. My man, my man, when keeping it black goes wrong. Yo. You thought because he was a white boy and he was a YouTuber, you forgot the man had multiple years of training. This is his second year uh, celebrity boxing. Once he started, he never stopped. You could tell. You could always tell a boxer's body. Yeah. By the shoulders. Yeah. You saw that man. It ain't about the six-pack. Ain't about the big bulging muscles. And even with Mike, you always saw Mike, he had he was body was tight, even yeah. in his heyday. Yeah. But his shoulders were enormous. Yeah. Because they had to throw all those punches. Yeah. And that's that shoulder. Yeah. And you saw my man Jake from State Farm. <laughs> <laughs> shoulders was big as shit, yo. And the Yo. first punch, you thought he really hit him behind the head until they did the review. He didn't. He caught him on the side of the head. Head, yeah. Like, oof. I'm like, from that punch, you win night-night, nigga. Yo, yeah. He was he was all off. He didn't have no form. He kept running into him. He was holding him through the whole first round. Yeah. Even the, even the, um, the ref was like, yo, what are we doing here? You could hear him on the mic. Like, what are, what are we doing? What are we doing here? Like, are you going to fight know, or whatever? We, we want to see some action, Action, nigga. yeah. Like, Let these niggas go. And, and even the ref tried to stop it. Yeah. The ref was like, yo, you all right? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, Homie got to a seven count. Yeah. <laughs> what you? He was like, he had to get out. Like, Give me a sign. see your hand. Like, what? Wink. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Give me something. He was like, put your hand down. He was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, this ain't going to be good. Hold, he kept oh, holding this shit. Yeah. yeah. I was like, yo, go home. Nigga, that was Just the side home. that nigga was ready to go night night. That's all you had to do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> LOL, Nate's still down. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, it took my friend 30 years to admit that a white girl gave it to her at the block. <laughs> 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 Yo, I mean, look, man, if you're not in condition to fight just because you cut up. And Nate's always been kind of uh, he's always been a muscular shape. dude, yeah. yeah, yeah. And now you cut up with the six pack abs. That don't mean you can still go. You're not conditioned to get hit. You're not. Con- we all seen that. He whopped you like, with a, with some light jet work. Um, you're not conditioned to uh, throw a punch that'll that'll be effective. That's the thing. It's like you see in Roy Jones. He got hit. Yeah, and you see, you got like, winded. He right. he slowed down immediately. Like Mike hit hard, but you got to be conditioned to to get hit. And then you you know you know what to do. He still dodged them. He dodged a lot of left hooks. He dodged a lot of <laughs> Mike that would have not. He would have went night night. Like my bad homie. I didn't even know. It was just the, the one two. Um, you see it, when you see it with Nate, it was like you had no form. He bent down, went in, and did this. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. And and that's all he kept doing. And he kept running into him. He was, there was no play. There was no back. There was no studying. It, it was like. He thought he was on a playground wrestling. Nigga, we ain't wrestling. Yeah. If there was a street you fight. You take these jabs and yeah. these hooks. If it was a street fight, yeah. and, you know, then Nate would have probably got know. him. I got him think. on the ground he and walked him. looked like he was kind of strong. He was like, get your little ass off. I mean, I don't even think it would have been that easy if it was a street fight. But, yeah, but he probably would have been a better a better contender at yeah, that definitely, point. definitely, definitely. But, nah, not to set up for boxing where he knew I could move and move around. You only have yeah, one punch move. Punch has got to be precise, man. It has to be yes. like, and wait, like, Paul hit him with that straight. Dude, that shit didn't that even have that much power. Up. He was like, bow. And right on that jaw. And it, yeah. You can tell when it limp immediately, hit yo. the mat, and he ain't moving. I'm like, yo, get this Yo, that nigga can not sit on the stool, nigga. They put the stool, he was like. Yo, they kept like, yo, leave the nigga on the floor. 
You making this shit worse. Yeah. Leave him on the floor. That's it. Y'all was like, come on. Come on. Leave this man on the floor. You're not making this shit any better for him. That's why I was like, I can't. I was like, nah, bro. You were not prepared for this fight at all. You you, you heard exhibition ex, uh, exhibition and you didn't take that shit any type of seriously. No, you didn't. I was like, I was like, you we easily see that. I said, and all the sports field, nigga, your your whole peers ain't taking you serious no more. You know what I was thinking about also? I was thinking about the million dollar baby when yeah. he couldn't get up on the stool. And when she uh, fucked her shit up on the neck, that, yeah, yeah, I was like, this nigga gonna kill himself if he try to put him on that stool, cause he was wobbly for a while. That lets you know it's like one of those haymaker shots, like he hit him flush on the right spot. But yo, that's part of boxing, nigga. It was, everybody got a plan till you get hit. Yeah. Nigga had a plan. Yeah, bam. Like you said, <laughs> everybody won't be a boxer till you get hit. Get hit. That's it. Nigga that's ain't gonna it. just sit there and let you like you hit, hit him. him and not hit back. Yeah. Yeah, like, yo, that's what I told him. I was like, man. Yo, Michael Jordan's going to give Nate Robinson the biggest <laughs> Christmas gift in the motherfucking world. No I should more. get a shirt with Sleepy yeah. on. That shit there. <laughs> no, more, no more Michael yeah. Jordan crying memes, baby. Nate yo. Robinson took over. Yo. Yo, that Sleepy, that, you know, they put this nigga on the Sleepy mattress, <laughs> nigga. Like, he said Black, Black <laughs> Friday sale, $500, nigga. I was in tears, nigga. Yo. Oh my gosh! Yo, I, yeah, he ain't gonna be able to lay that shit down, man. There you go, night, Yo, night, nigga. I, I don't even, <laughs> I, I don't even know how you can do a rematch, bro. Nah, just leave it alone. Yeah, you know he gonna ask me like we should get a rematch, nah, and I'm like, don't nah, ask. don't even bother. Cause like that man, I have three years of training to your one. Like leave it yeah, alone. Yeah, yeah, you gonna get you gonna get trained this time, but you you ain't gonna be ready. You ain't gotta. Ready. Yeah, I, I like I think, like I remember back in Jay Z stories. Watch, um, look on YouTube, crazy fights or whatever. Yeah, and it was this trained boxer fighting five guys. He was tearing the asses up because mm-hmm. he knew how to hit and move. Yeah, he was jabbing them, hitting them, and moving off. <laughs> she said, "I saw the mattress." That's yo, that mattress. That was I was funny. like, I, I just put undefeated. Yo, the, the, the motherfucking internet is undefeated when I shared it. Yeah, undefeated. Wild. How you gonna put this nigga on a mattress, nigga? That shit rough, bro. Like it say Black Friday sale. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, sleepy mattress is like twenty three hundred, nigga. Yo, I just hope he raised a lot of money for charity. That's all I can say, nigga. I, it's, I yo, just hope go and hide, nigga. Just like disappear for a little bit. Don't talk about it. Don't talk shit to nobody. Cause the first thing is they gonna say is where was all that talk when that white boy was knocking your ass out. Yeah, yeah. Don't come back for a while, bro. You can't. You can't even redeem yourself. But I like this format. You can fight a midget or something. I'm Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> you might get fucked up over that, nigga. He tripping for his <laughs> fall. <laughs> like nigga again. You um, like the format? I like the format. I like this better, and this is what um. What do you thought about the performances? How they kept having people come out, nah, and perform. I, I, I can give or take on the performance. I, uh, the performance was the buy time. Cause think about it, say, they didn't expect this. The, they right. lost a whole uh, what uh, twenty minutes with this yeah, nigga. Like, instead of having the commentators try to big it up, and that's yeah. what I say. The way they, it was mapped perfectly. Instead of having them trying to pull uh, um, 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 commentary yeah. to talk about fighters that's not really fighters or something they know, you just brought nice artists, um, you know, hitters on, good artists. Come on to perform songs, yeah, and like you didn't have to pull teeth, and and, and that, I thought that was well done, man. Um, I, I like I said, I, I like this format. Um, I think everybody can eat more off it. Uh, the 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 fighters can get paid directly. There's nothing else there. Uh, you know, you could definitely make this professional only and call it exhibition and without having to fight uh, with the license. Right, right. Because um, now this and there's a, there's a market for this. And he not, just, not even the fact, yeah, not even the fact that you know Mike, uh, you know, got the bug back. He like he loved it. He, you know, he got he got that old fire back. But he was there's serious, a market. Bro. He was serious. Yo, but there, there's a big market for this, my man. Well, I mean, his yo, his name. And I remember when they were talking. But to now him, think like, about it. Let's bring back De La Hoya. Let's bring back um, what's the name? name? Let's bring back all the, the the Filipino dude. Right. All the big old school who dudes. You know who who now 40, 50, mm. retired after some of the Prince Nassim. All, okay. all of them. You I, see what I'm saying? I see you CEO in right now. But, okay. Yeah. But you but you see yeah. what I'm saying? That would be a great opportunity. COVID clear up. Hey, uh, we at the we at the garden. You know we're gonna charge you seventy five dollars to go watch the greats. 
You're going to have the undercards. You're going to see the great. How could you imagine? Uh, uh, you're going to have two good undercards, and you may get a wild card, like a YouTuber or whatever, the, the Fuji, or I don't know. Right, you get right. what I'm saying? And you pay for that. Yeah. You, you, am I wrong? Yeah. You, pay, you would pay for that. Definitely. So, like I said, imagine if they could sell this place out. You would be crazy. And they're going to get a pay, another pay-per-view special. It's going to be wild. So you bring back the old dudes. The old dudes ain't got much to lose. You get what I'm saying? Maybe they wanted to fight above or under their weight class while they still had a little bit of time. Like, I always wanted to knock him out, but he was heavyweight, and I was Facts. a feather. Facts. You get what I'm saying? Now I gained 80, 90 pounds, and, you know, and, I'm just, and I spent two years trying to, you know, figure this out. How I could work with another 90 pounds on me. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? You can get matchups. Out of Yo, something make like sure that. you write to check the True Vibe TV. <laughs> yeah, serious. But yeah, you're right. Just think of all those guys who, you know, still want to make a couple of dollars. Yeah. Put man. on a nice little fight and ain't got to worry about getting knocked the fuck out. Yo, when when this clear up, they, they, this a new one. This and versus, they're gonna be they're gonna be the charting. They're gonna be charting. That's Facts. it. Facts. And this clear up because you think it, it, this is, this is a new thing and, and it's great. But this will be this will uh, you know the uh, the license committee uh, whatever whatever the the boxing committee they're gonna try committee, to put, to, yeah, try to put an end to this it. yeah to fight it and, and like like I see the NFL is gonna try to put a uh, a bullet in, in the rock with the XFL because he's gonna draw too many heads you get what I'm saying there's a market there's Way a secondary market I can take all I can take all your good players you know what I'm saying pay them directly out out of the stands. Facts. You know, you get what I'm saying? Like, yo, I'm going to give y'all percent of ownership. You know what I mean? And so instead of you giving me 30 mil for a 10-year contract, yeah, I got you. You get what I'm saying? You right, making right. that already. Can, numbers can be worked out. You see what I'm saying? You making that already. Out. So it, it, it definitely it definitely intrudes into the, the, the normalcy of whatever was going on already. But there is a market for this. And this can be direct to consumer, you know, middleman. And it, 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 I, I just want to see how they just play this it. out. I just, just want to see how to play it out because think about it. You have all these people who never make it or who get licensed, you know, never really make it up. Now come fight on this level. Under his brand, League of Legends. He you know, is the league. You'd be good, but you would, you never had a, a chance to fight the title. Right. You know what I mean? But you, you, you're well taken care of, though. It, right. You got money in your pocket. That's my point. Of what's going on in, in boxing right now, the uh, people don't want to fight people because they don't want to lose the belt. The belt. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, so it's like, yo, man, I'm the only next up. Now nah, I'm good. I'm about to retire. With yeah, time. You know I'll see y'all I mean? later. Everybody, I'm going like, no, no. Like you got uh, um, um, Mayweather fighting a USC fighter. Come on, homie. It, it, but that's what I'm saying. You know what that's I mean? That's what I'm Come saying. On. Come on. That's what I'm saying. Now get Mayweather to get some pounds and put that nigga in with Mike. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get, get some pounds. But Mike, like, I'm going to lose another 800. It comes out on you. That nigga ain't ready for them body shots. <laughs> that nigga shit was sounding off. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Roy wasn't hitting like that. Yeah, nigga, yeah. nigga, that shit was poof. That I'm shit like, was sounding off. It's like, somebody check them gloves, nigga. Them shit like, might be waiting. Roy nigga. about to go night-night, nigga. Like, <laughs> like, Roy was the perfect fighter because Roy would be able to stay away. Yeah, and that's what he did. He hit him with a jab every once, once in a while. while. Mm -hmm. Mike, I'm here, nigga. I'm here. Yep. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, with that body shot. Oh, nigga, no. No, that, let me run that's, around a little more. That's all I'm saying, man. This shit could be magical. This right. shit could be magical. Uh, any COVID news source? Um, don't keep waiting because nobody's talking about getting the second stimulus check. I was actually reading up on it uh, just a few minutes ago. Um, Congress is back in session on Monday. Okay. So we might get some news on what's... Oh, we still in limbo gonna, because uh, Trump doesn't want to concede. Well, whatever they put forth, let's say if the House and um, and Congress agrees and has to go in front of the, the president, well, we still got the president now. He could, He's still got another 30 so on, actually almost 60 days to sign off. Fact. Almost 60 days to say no, uh, up to uh, January 20th. So uh, Biden's in the 25th. A lot of things they're waiting to see. Like I said, um, there is talk of another second shutdown. It could be on some national level instead of like how it was state to state. Um, a lot of states have already shut down. Yeah. A lot of states shut down. Um, Newark, California. Like 10 days, some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, California is, is doing what they did like in Newark over there. Um, the LA area will not have any, will we have like a 30 day shutdown? Shit. So, like, you can only do takeout. You can't sit the outside. You can't do this because the numbers are rising. You can, it's, a, it's like a lot. 
but it mostly affects businesses. They're not trapping you inside your, your house, but, you know, you ain't no point to go out because all the restaurants or the parks yeah, are going to be closed. Go, nowhere to this going to be closed. Yeah. Y'all actually got to cook in your house now. Like, you, you, you don't know where your stove is in your house. You're going to find out now. And, that, and, that's, and th- that's, the, uh, that's the big conundrum there that, w- that we're seeing. So if the new president comes out and says, every place is shut down, you get what I'm saying? And I want all my governors to shut everything down. Yeah, that's going to hurt till March or whatever the hell it is or however long or if we get it or if we do it. Um, you can't make a decision like that until the 25th. So we see. Um they, but if the house the, the house is back, let's say they're they said they're going to try to figure out a new plan that'll <clears throat> come down beyond the two point four trillion. Dang. That's what they were stuck at three point six and two point four. Nobody wanted to meet in the million in the middle, right? Um, but none of those now nobody really had anything about a check for the individuals. They uh, that's kind of talking not, about business bailout, not for the. It's not going to work this time. It's not gonna work. They're you not can save the business, but if we ain't got the yep. money to spend in the businesses, yep, they're not talking about paying people directly as much. There may be something in there, but they have to come to the table with something. Um, so that's allegedly, and I say allegedly because none of us are in the House of Representatives or Cong- or um or the Senate. And don't forget, uh, Georgia has a runoff in January, which can change. I think it's the House of Representatives until until uh, which is now mostly head by the Republicans. It could if they win Democrat, they it will change the House of Representatives to uh, to Demo- uh, Democrat. So now you'll have a Democratic con- a Senate, Democratic uh, House of Representatives. Nice. You know what I'm saying? And a damn president. Might be able to possible. get some stuff passed. Uh, at least what supermarket is looking a little delay in food delivery. Insider says so. Keep that in mind. Yeah, they are. Just, um, Toilet paper is alleged to be on back order again. So I can only assume again? paper towels will be too. Allegedly, they're holding it at the, uh, what are the middlemen, the distributors? Hey, at the end of the day, if you press for that, there's uh, there's flushable uh, wipes. The wipes. And on top of that, you get uh, some paper towel, cut that shit in half, people. Come on now. Um, yeah, so th- there, are, there are things. You are, you are right with that. So certain food items will be probably missing again. Um but they said it shouldn't be as bad as last time, allegedly with that. But paper towels and toilet paper may be on the list again, depending on regional area where it's made and where they got to ship to. Wow. But they said the distributors are holding it because, you know, they buy it first. They buy yeah. it in bulk and then they distribute to other places. Your Walmart, your Amazon, right. Sam's Club. Right. So people being held out. Uh, don't forget the moratorium for uh, evictions, uh, December 31st. Um, Hold on, say that again. December thirty first is over. Is when uh, they're allowed. The evictions, to- yeah, are over. So January second, they can go to the sheriff if they, you know, or go down to the courthouse whenever it opens. I need, you know, and all we already the know how out. landlords are going now. They they've been losing they're money, hurting. You forget tax season is coming up, so nobody said anything about paying the taxes. So if you didn't pay me, how I'm gonna pay them? You get what I'm saying? And they they ain't trying to hear, hold up, you ain't got to pay taxes this year. Nobody said nothing about nah, that yet. Nah, I ain't trying to hear that. Uh, hopefully that's in what they discuss. That's what uh, the House and the Senate will gotta, discuss. Yeah, gotta, gotta, hopefully. Gotta give a, give everybody a pass. Yeah, knock on wood. But that's what they're trying to do. Got to um, give everybody a pass. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to talk about uh, that may be in uh, the evictions should be on the talk the table. To a certain extent. Now, for like we, we talked about here before for... For you people who were um, getting the extra 600 and still bringing us money in and just decided to go ahead and get that new Audi or that new, you know, uh, uh, series yeah. and not pay your rent, I'm not feeling sorry for you. Yeah. For those individuals who lost their jobs for real, couldn't pay rent, those are the people with proof. I think those are the people that rent should be forgiven. <laughs> they better write that check fast. Yeah, it ain't fast <laughs> enough. No, I mean, ain't fast enough. I'm, yo, landlords don't play. Because at the end of the day, there ain't no, those people, like say, let's say one to five. Yeah. If you're living in the 2.5 area, but there's a four point area that just came available because they're kicking people out, but they these landlords want money. Yeah. And as long as you can prove, and Jeff talked about, as long as you can prove you got a job, with That's the income, the they'll now. let you move in from the 2.5 to the 4.0 because they want to get some money. Because it's going to take a while 
for this economy to get back on track. Yeah. When you talk about people losing jobs and companies downsizing. So all this work from home shit was great. So it, I, I'm, I'm, I'm putting out a scenario here. All this work from home shit was great. So now what this means, uh, places like Google, places like Amazon, places like you name any big company, fill them in. There's plenty of them. There's plenty of them. Uh, we don't need to rent this big commercial building and have all my uh, 5,000 employees uh, report in this office or location. So um, I'm good with that uh, single that single room there, have my manager there, works on his, his laptop and keyboard, and I just need, you know, the best Facts. of the internet. And everybody else can check in from home on Zoom and, and so on and so forth. So that means less money. So that means you had the commercial real estate is supposed to take is 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 planned to take a beating because people will not be buying a lot of commercial real estate. Nope. No need to rent if people are working from home. I don't need to put all these people in there. I gotta have a smaller place. Um, commercial real estate is taking a beating because people aren't paying their commercial rents. Commercial rent is different. You you pay like in a long term. You sign to a long term lease. Yeah. A lot of these places have signed up. Remember Cheesecake Factory came out first. We're not paying our rent because we ain't working. I don't know what they sign to a lot of places. But if you take a trip to any one of these malls of Paramus, and I say that because we live in New Jersey, uh, a lot of them shits have changed. If you went to the Plaza, the, a lot of those restaurants are now gone, gone. Yeah, where they man. put up the Boy, things, yeah. they boarded them up, and they they already trying to move them or turn them into something else. It's crazy. Um, the best of times, baby. Yeah. Um, it, um, a lot a lot of these uh, places that are going to be going, the uh, um, Lord and Taylor, Saks Fifth yeah. Ave. These motherfuckers been around for the long years upon years. Now, they don't last. Bad thing. Like, is that bad business on behalf of Lord and Taylor or? Is it them just cutting their tides while they're still ahead? Well, for them of, to be along, be out, be sorry, be around that many years, like we're if talking about decades. If they're dying completely, like we don't exist anymore, we don't even have an online presence, then I'd say bad business. Oh, they do. They still do. Like people like, and that was the greatest thing about like malls like the Garden State Plaza. Yeah. Like Garden State Plaza, those of you familiar with the, you know, the tri state area, Garden State Plaza had a, uh, um, what we like to call two sides of the mall. Oh, yeah. One side of the mall side. is where the Gucci, Louis Vuitton is. The other side of the mall is where Against All Odds is. And you knew where you belong. <laughs> yeah, serious. So it was the perfect mall. It wasn't like River Square where you're not walking in there without 2500 Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? Like, that entire <laughs> mall is, like, bougie as shit. Right, right. Even that's taking a beating. A lot of stores in there. Probably oh, they're yeah, going to be moving. I, was, I, was, I went Leaving to the out. movies to see the... Uh, the crudes or whatever, the yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever. It's real good. But um, walking through there, whatever. Yeah, a lot of places are black. looking at these stores, and it's like. A lot of places are black. They just put a sign up on it, and they slowly move your stuff out. Um, they come to term, and, that, and that's in the rich mall. See, now here, here's what the thing. A lot of people brought stuff online. So when if the stores went directly online, they don't have any overhead to run that. Right. So you're talking about, and I'm just doing guesstimations, and it's a light guesstimations, and I know I'm wrong. It may cost the Apple Store fifty thousand dollars to to open every day in the plaza. Between paying the um the, the, the electricity, well, all that gets caught up in the rent. The rent gets paid, and there's two types of rent. You got rent for the holiday season, and then you got rent off goes holiday up. season. Goes up. You got eight months, and you got a four month period, and it goes up on that four month period because all the holidays hit yep. towards the end of the year. So they charge you what you make, what you make, and it doesn't go under. So you'd be like, well, it's only twenty. We ain't make a lot. Ha <laughs> ha! You know, written only fifteen hundred. Jokes on you, nigga. You know, no, they still have a base minimum. So um, when when you start to see a lot of those things that come in there and play, like fifty, I'm just throwing like fifty thousand dollars. That's you know the insurance. That's the 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 customer service, the lights, the text, uh, all that shit that they go in there. That's a fucking lot. You get what I'm saying? That's overhead when I don't have to give it to you when you could just buy it from your but house. As you said, if, if for, for those like major corporations, but. Lord and Taylor to me has never really had a big online presence. No, to they me. were Lord and Taylor had a consignment store, so you would go in there and be like, "I got my old Gucci purse, my grandma. I want to sell it." You know what I'm saying? It would sell it for you. They would do things like that. It was a it was a bougie store. You know, you wasn't walking in there without trading the deal. Now, I like the format. You know what I'm saying? I like the format of it, and I knew what it stood for and what it was. But is it like is it too much to keep that place there? Yeah, it's too much to keep that place there for Lord and Taylor themselves. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, we losing money. 
I'm going to have to lay you off anyway right. just to keep, you know, to keep the doors open. And now the door's too big, so I'm going to keep one side of the doors open. Well, what, what I loved about companies like Lord & Taylor and Neiman Marcus... And, they, yeah, and theft, yeah. theft hurt them too, yeah. They, 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 they paid up. their workers very well. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Very well. It wasn't like Macy's. Right. They didn't pay their employees like Macy's. They paid their employees very well. Yeah. Um, and, and, and the fact that they're shutting down and, and, and now they don't have uh, a lot of, like you said, at the end of the day, if I can create an online presence, and I don't have to worry about the sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollar rent. I can eat that and just ship shit out, and have them pay for their own shipping. Yo, you you, you forgot? Yeah, that's what they were doing. With I'm the making Lord more money there. now. But think about it. Yeah, I don't have to pay. I don't have to anchor the store. I don't have to. You know, all this other big stuff that I'm already paying. You know, I've been I only made me one place in New Jersey. You know what I mean? And it can Facts. mail. It can mail everywhere through. You know what I mean? Wasn't they did that already? Fuck. Who? I forgot what store did that already. It's probably a couple. Neiman Mark or something. Yeah. I don't know. I, what I know. I know a lot of them were shut down. But when you think about it, it, it things like this will forever change. Going stuff going forward. So when we need to go out and get some and go somewhere, just to have things to do, we don't have this. We don't have these things anymore. Um, the places I worry about, Dave and Buster's. I ain't, I ain't even bothered to check up on them. But I just thought about them while looking at Chuck E. Cheese when oh, I was look at Popeyes. Because I was like, well. If this is a particle born, comma, aerosol born, aerosol born, you know, um, what's all these kids running with no masks and people out there eating in that small area for the things going? You know, like a Dave and Buster's Chuck E. Cheese, uh, um, uh, you name it, places like those. I'm like, how long they gonna hold? Chuck E. Cheese has been hurting. They were talking, they were hurting before. They were yeah. selling, they were selling the pizza online. So <laughs> you ain't hear it. They changed the name to Charles E. something. Not Charles. Um, Pasquale's. They were selling themselves as Pasquale's Pizza. <laughs> and you would order, like, you would order, like, for a regular pizza for a joint. And wow. they would say, yeah. Yo, they needed the income. And I, I'm not mad at them, nigga. I'm I'll not mad at them at all. You got to, you got to, you got a commercial kitchen in that bitch. I'd have been having baked goods and everything out of that motherfucker. Like, yo, we in the back with seafood. What you want? Like, yo, um, it, it, it's, it, it comes down to, when you see things like this, this contributes to the big picture of what the president has to answer. You know what I mean? We see this shit going. We see this shit crumbling up over here. Lord knows what it's only like in Louisiana. Lord knows what it's only like really in Florida, when Florida was already shit fest. Yeah, it's, you, it, 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 you, know, it, you know, the other side of Atlanta, uh, and not even Atlanta's, the Augustus, the uh, the Louisville's, the, uh, the West, and all the other, you know what I'm saying? All the other small places, when we shut down the factory, the motherfuckers hurt. We shut down things, you know what I'm saying? People ain't been buying cars, new cars. New cars, used cars have went up, and the, the price on used cars are, are really high now because that's what people are buying. New cars have not been moving. So all those, the rest of those 20, 20 years they got still sitting on the docks that they're going to have to move. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know where like, your what credit going to be with at. That? Like, and, and, and from, for, these, sell it. A loss. for these, uh, you know, factories, because they're all overseas, making like, do you make anything now? Do you make 2021? Do you but make see, 2022? But that's, that's the holdup. So they're not going to make as much, right? Because we got to move whatever right, we you, already you, have. I mean, made. It's not like, okay, well, they only moved half. No. They're not moving any 2020s. No, that's my point. I saw a commercial where they were like, uh, GMC, or, uh, Dodge, uh, $10,000 off a RPM Black Friday sale. I saw um, one of the big um, Mercedes Benz uh, they were trying to give uh, for like two, yeah. like $300 a month. Yeah. I like, gosh. Um, I got the, um, I got the, uh, the Honda notice. Because I had paid down most of my Honda, and they were like, hey, uh, we see that you owe this much. You want to ah. trade in your Honda for a new 2021? And I was like, and, and, and remember, I think I said this on the other yeah, uh, man show. Like I said, if it was legend. something else, yeah. I said, if it, was, if it was at least an Acura or, like, maybe a Lexus or uh, something else that was more prestigious to me, like scale, a Mercedes. Right. You know, if I went to Mercedes and they was going to throw me a new deal, I would do it. Oh, they'll but, do it now. Yeah, do it I, and that's the funny thing. I think they yeah, would. They'll do it. Like, nigga, we take that right off your hands. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. How much you owe? Don't worry about that shit, nigga. Uh-huh. We got you, nigga. I'm just gonna go you, ahead and... I'm going to get extra three yeah, just because it's you. And, yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's it. Yeah, you, you ain't got to worry. And, and this, like you said, like, because yeah. I'm thinking, too, 
I'm thinking, okay, well, when this stuff is over, go ahead, take it. And the greatest thing about a Honda, Honda is a great resale. Yeah. Well, yeah, it, it, they it never, lasts. They never, uh, 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 which was the defer? I forgot the proper term I'm looking for. Depreciate. They, they don't hurt. Yeah, they appreciate. They don't hurt. Right. Depreciation usually stops on a Honda for a while, as long as you take decent care of it. Yeah. Um, Alisa, uh, I wonder, uh, people buying all the stock because it's low. It is low, but remember when you buy the stock, do your, your best about um, know about the company you're buying in. So I'm gonna tell you right now, and I missed out. Uh, I brought late. Disney stock, uh, Disney stock stock jumped to uh, d- uh, went down to like a hundred and like nineteen, hundred and fifteen dollars, and it was there for like two months. And I was just being a dumbass, thinking it was gonna go lower. That shit is now at a hundred and fifty five dollars. And you gotta remember, I'm just saying Disney here because we all watch Disney stuff. We all wear all them Disney platforms. owns all uh, Disney Hulu. owns all uh, the platforms. All those the next movies you're gonna watch, I guarantee you, Disney owns the person that owns it. Um, D- uh, Disney Disney got a whole bunch of movies that didn't come out this year that are in the tuck that they waiting for the theaters to open or they waiting to buy the theaters and when they open, put them shits out. So, or do the Milan thing they did. Yeah, so when that shit go back, hours. yeah. So now it's at 150. That should maybe at like two, 210 by next summer. You see what I'm saying? So like you buy that 115, the shit now got an extra hundred dollars on whatever you brought. So pay attention to long term or whatever it is. Um, if pharmaceutical stop when uh, they started announcing all these vaccines and people who were dealing with vaccines or cancer cures. Or anything to do with look these. Look at those companies, people. Look at them and see what they do. You know, at this point in time, I wouldn't be buying Facebook. I'm just saying Facebook ain't cheap. But, you know, what? I wouldn't be buying Facebook or Twitter because they were being looked at for uh, for fraud with the, with the investment stuff. But I wouldn't buy them anyway because we already know where they are in tech. They're not really subject to, to get a good return yet so far. But with Disney, I know they got all the Marvel movies in the tuck. The, the, nigga, the next Black Panther, you know that's good for a good another billion because we just got to see what happens to how they can write the black boy out. So you know what I mean? So you know they about to get another bill off of this, nigga. I'm about to get another $40, $50 Amazon, at least. People. Amazon, Amazon at 3020 Yeah. 3020 dollars for last, one stop. Once, and last year it was 1500 So it goes to show you, just to just put extra emphasis on it. Right. He just bought 90 fl- uh, planes. He's trying that to nigga owned the pharmaceutical shit. So think about he got pharmaceutical. That. My boy, there you go. Go ahead, go ahead. They just they, started their own pharmaceutical company. He got the he got the drone approval. Drone approval with the pharmaceutical stuff. So think about it. Your little pack of pills that are under not even a pound or half a pound. That's what the drones are gonna be dropping off. They ain't gonna be dropping off your sneakers. They're gonna have the motherfucking drones dropping off your pharmaceuticals. That's going straight to out of your Medicaid and he getting paid directly. That's more money than any of that shit y'all buying from the China store or Nike or whatever the fuck it is. So he ain't stupid, and that stock by probably gonna double. I'm not. You see get what it, I'm saying? Get it right, and 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 just to, like for you individuals out there who don't have the uh, uh, don't have the money to buy the stock straight out, you have uh, apps like Robinhood. Yeah, you can buy a portion, and mm-hmm. when you it'll allow you to buy a portion of a stock, and you'll mm-hmm. still reap the benefits of it. Mm-hmm. But if you keep, 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 eventually you'll own the full stock. Yes, yes, yeah. And yeah. Uh, Amazon is hiring like crazy, depending on the position that you get. Uh, if you get a full-time position, I think they give you five shares. Think about that, people. What she said, it's too bad because this is the time to buy black, oh, black, black. Shit. I don't mind buying black, black, black. I never think anything's wrong. Well, these the black, all right, so... When they're talking about the businesses that were hurting, over seventy percent were black owned. Yeah, they, mom and pops. They were small businesses. Straight mind, yeah, those small, are small the ones business, that were bro. truly hit. Yeah, I know. I understand. We talked about the Lord and Taylors and Macy's and stuff, but during this pandemic, these are the uh, businesses that were truly, truly hit. Yeah, were the uh, black owned businesses, and I understand you wanting to do that for that, but at the end of the day, you got to take care of your own financial uh, uh, um, pockets. Yeah. Yeah. So when it comes to buying stock, and like I said, with Robinhood, if you could get Amazon stock now, or if you could get employed by them, like I said, they give you five five shares, I think. Yeah. And uh, they give it to you. It's yours. And then within five years, you reap all the benefits of it. And then they give you, I think, another five or four on top of the four, five they gave you automatically. 
So pay just think about I, that. Pay attention to that because they're making moves. He's crossing into different platforms. This dude is he's thinking he's thinking way different. Yeah, I I wouldn't even mind um buying certain things. I I tried to look into with Killer Mike with um the black banking. And then I try to see if I can invest in some of these black banks, and they're not open for investments yet, or, uh, well, not that black bank that he was dealing with, but a lot of them weren't trading. Right. And so I'm like, well, I'm not saying they're not doing money, and how I know how a bank works, and the bank is gonna work how it works, no matter white, black, or whoever owns it. Right. Or you know, that's what I'm like, eh, it's nothing for me there. You know, they're not giving me anything. So even if I put my money into it, I'm not reaping. Any of the benefits at all? You see what I'm saying? I'm like, I, I'm just, I got another checking account, and hopefully it's a free checking account. Because if it's not, uh, uh, no, bro, what are we talking about? Because all interest is low, so you're not giving me, you know, seven percent interest on a motherfucking savings account or something. And I, I'm not here to knock the man. I'm not saying don't put it in black banks or whatever it is, because I understand what what the projects that you know they want to they want to lend their money to. I get that. I get that at some point in time. But I'm like, for now, there's nothing there for me. And that's just black banks. But small black businesses, when they see to buy stuff, buy it. You know, buy, you can buy black. I, I, I don't see anything that's wrong with that. Just make sure it's a good investment of what you buy. I think there's a lot of black herbal products, uh, places that sell sea moss. I like um, Styles P. Uh, uh, what's her name? Um, he does, like, shakes and health foods and yeah, stuff. Yeah, the, the sh- uh, sh- Shake Shack. No, yeah. Shack Shake. Uh, yeah, something like that. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I've seen that. Um, at the time... Like a year ago when he did it, and I was first looking into it, I didn't have enough money to buy a kit or whatever it was, um, you know, to buy like the the certain uh, er- herbal stuff. But certain things I've looked, and I, I still follow him, and I try to buy maybe different supplements or whatever the price is. I'm not, I'm not saying black people lower your prices. No, I'm not. You know what I mean? It is what it is. You know, I just didn't have it at that time. Now right. do I have it? Yeah. But have I found an alternative that's greater? that works for it yeah but if if he was there or if there was one in my area so let's say i could go to the mall and oh styles p shack i'll go there and styles p shack yeah give, you see what i'm saying I, instead shit. of going to a jamba juice whatever it is i got no problem as long as it's feasible or easy access to me at this point you know or or something if it's something i need that i can't get to you know, there's ways and there's things for it. We can support our own. I have no fucking, I, I, I would love no to. problem. I love to. I'm still looking for a soul food joint that can really good rock. Uh, she's okay. Um, it's, it's just, just yeah. You talking media? <laughs> talking a fast return. Um, yeah. At some point, it, it, well, it depends. If 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 I'm talking about the banking stuff uh, or financial, fast return. And if I'm telling you to buy stock. If you're not holding that shit for about 20 years or looking to hold it for 20 years, then it's it most likely probably be some immediate return, which in the next five years you could be looking for. So let's say it's a five-year uh, uh, period on it. Then you would have to buy something like Disney or something like that. And I just gave y'all great things while they're low. It's you know, look for it. what it, look for. And there's a lot of penny stock that is pharmaceutical that is actually booming right now. You know, and you can grow and trade and buy whatever it is. If not, you're going to buy something and just hold it and go for it. I was looking for the bank for long term because I would love to see that bank take over to be the ne- next competitor to a Chase. Right. Or a Bank of America or something, you know, a big term. One of them big ones, but they yeah. didn't have anything there. Now, I'm not buying into that shit when it's $3,000 a stock. You know what I'm saying? But they didn't even have anything open towards that. So it, it depends what, what I'm looking, looking towards, but like... Most black businesses are small. Even when you see them as big units, they're still small. And small is just within the ownership. I mean, we're not a big conglomerate with, like, you know, truth is in Italy. That nigga, <laughs> he not zooming in. He fucking uh, holographing in. Hey, nigga on Star Wars just walk. Hey, yeah, nigga, that, the, bring down the stock and tell them to buy that shit. I'm like, nigga, what beach are you on? You know, where they got shit like that, you know? So it, it, it's... It's cool. I, sometimes I look for a fast return, but sometimes I don't. I would like I would love to find something that's black owned I could long term investment in. Um, there's a couple of land, not, um, real estate properties, real estate companies that are trying to do that. Black owned real estate companies, um, but I couldn't find the investment. What they wanted you to do is put money in to buy the land as a group ownership. And I was like, eh. it became like a timeshare, but you ain't got, you can't use it. You know what I mean? So, you, like, you get your return. You put your 200 or $300 in, and you get your return 
maybe in five years. But depending on what they turn that property into, you get what I'm saying? If they made it a Section 8 property, your return may be big. If they made that shit uh, Kim's Convenience Store, yeah. shit ain't going to be. You get what I'm saying? Like, really, really. Because I know yeah. one of the black guys who was in um, in the field started doing the travel agent uh-huh. travel agent thing. Yeah. And I know that they got a lot of that going around right now. But the thing that turned me off about that is the uh, lack of LLC. Right. Right. So... Again, that's what you I'm can't saying. Tell like, me, I own something. I, I don't have an LLC. So, but again, that's still small, small level. You can't just throw money. Nah, nigga, I want to own a, a fraction of the main company. I don't want to do none of that shit. Hit two grand, put that bitch in there. I'm gonna come back in 20 years. That shit better be 40. <laughs> I'll see you later. You know what I mean? Or, or whatever it is. That that. So like, I, I try to find those things, and and I I do think we lack in that a lot of that. I don't. Nothing comes in mind for, like, a big, 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 big company to come in. That's why I was like, I would love for her to see, like, a Jay-Z or um, what's the dude on BET? I forgot his name. Well, David something? Yeah. And, um, like, Byron Allen, I, that, that dude who always does the comedian show, he's a black billionaire. I was like, I would love to see him buy something that we all could invest in, you yeah. know, in a stock that would be black-owned, black-traded. But, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. That would be amazing. You know what I'm saying? Amazing. And I, w- I would love to see that, you know, but I-, I haven't found it yet. I'm not saying it doesn't exist. I don't know if anything is out there for it. Damn well, shame. You know, continue to, you know, prep, prepare yourself. Uh, we're still not sure where we're going. Uh, we're going to have a shutdown. We are. Oh, yeah. We're not. Uh, it's going to be a bailout. If so, to who? What are you going to get? Um, again, uh, I think a lot of people got comfortable with that unemployment, an extra six hundred dollars. Um, you put said, yourselves a lot. A lot of us put ourselves in selves in holes. She said they keep Steph and Byron. Um, Byron got a lot of side moves. They don't really fuck with, but he there. He in there. Like that nigga. Like he like weeds. And I don't mean the negative kind of. Do I? No, I don't mean the negative connotation. But like he's in there. You know, like he's. Slowly picking at CBS Viacom, he's slowly like he's and he's got enough money to be there. You know what I'm saying? So well, to, to 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 form um uh, uh, uh to become a problem to them, right. and th- they already have enough competitors, especially with online becoming a presence. Uh, Byron slowly got an online team, and you know people don't talk about that. Just to go there, but they do they stiff them out of the big sales? Yeah. So like if NBC went up for sales, he's like yo. I got it. I got it in cash. I, nigga, his 40 over. His 40 over. They're going to be like, nah, nigga, you good. Yeah. Sit the fuck down. You right. You right. But he's slowly in there. He's like weeds. Like, he pops up in places where they're like, nigga, you in? Like, like you say, you got to put your money in the right. Because what a lot of people fail to realize is about the owner from Amazon, Jeff, the man owns stock in Google. I'm talking about yeah. like some, what, a million dollars in he bought a million dollars in stock or a million shares or whatever. Yeah. So he he would never be pressed for money. So you got you own your own, but you still got money coming from this other outside company. Genius. Yeah. Genius. Yeah, man. Good times. All right, y'all. I want to thank y'all for hanging out with us today. Last words, Jeff. What she said? Uh, she says something. Else. Yeah, what's he saying? He's fighting to acquire. Yeah, a lot of things he is. He's fighting. I, I, I fuck with that. I, 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 that's why I give him a lot of credit. That's why I say I wish him or any other black billionaire that we know or any other non-black billionaire, you know, like a hidden black billionaire. I would love to see hidden black billionaires well, buy shit. Well, is this <laughs> when people like that in that position should break off and start creating their own? Like, from instance, from, a, from all right, Jay-Z doesn't have the money he has, but, like, from a Jay-Z standpoint where... I'm not going to fuck with Tidal. I'm not going to fuck with iTunes. I'm just going to create my own. You're right. You're right. But they got to do it, but you got to do it properly. You got to do it well. Because when if you can you really compete with your competitor? You get what I'm saying? Or I mean, are you just making something here to be annoying? I don't want to say be annoying. But to, you know, to say we have an impact on the culture. Right. But now, ultimately, I got to go use my competitor. You get what I'm saying? Like, when he had his stuff, when he wasn't putting his stuff on Spotify, and you had to go, if you wanted to throw a Jay-Z track in, you had to go to that. But now you can get Jay-Z's music on that. 
because he had to co- he had to compromise. You see what I'm saying? When all it took, when you tell me, and, and I'm not saying you don't have the money or you you can't acquire the money, but if you did a free trial, allegedly, if you all you did had to do was put a free trial a title, not a trial, a free um a free title right. version in, you would have you would have dominated the market. So you couldn't borrow money, and I'm just gonna say it was finance. You see what I'm saying? Yo, Timberland. This is what I'm gonna do for you, homie. I'm gonna slide you 15%. Give me a couple of bills. Or I'm just throwing out a name, you know, whatever it is. Um, float me. Once we once we grow bigger than whoever the hell's next. Facts. You know what I mean? I'm gonna slide this back, or I'm gonna give you the option. I, you, you see what I'm saying? He knew. He knew. We know Jay Z know people because he used to chill with the uh, the white boy. Uh, what's the fat dude who got <laughs> for rape? I forgot what his oh, name. What the, yeah, but but you see what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. For instance, I buy memorabilia. I discovered this store with the owner that lacks knowledge. You right? Take advantage. I fuck with you. Take advantage of that shit. Yeah, you know? <laughs> that's it. You don't know what you got. <laughs> that's it. Well. I give you five dollars for it. Yeah, take that. Go ahead. Don't go on there, girl. I mean, State sales are big. At the fat. end of the day, you know, you, I always tell people this when it comes to like business in certain situations. If you can't go to that person and ask that person to pay your mortgage or your rent and they'll do it, you gotta think about yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You said he takes the item out of your hand and then says it's not for sale. Because he realized from your face that it was worth of something. That's the that and that's the issue. Hand. Yeah, overplayed. Your and I'm hand. not saying you 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 thought, yo, this is what you got. You let me get no. You be like, well, I'll take it off your hand for you. You always got to be smooth or slick. Act like it ain't worth shit. Like yo, give me the whole lot. I got I got a hundred. Give me the whole lot. I I get I clear it out for you. Either that or you could do it the real real smooth way. You peep it and then send someone else in there to buy it for you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you who does this shit and I, and I learned by accident. The comic book traders and the card collectors. Facts. What they do it when you go in there and you be like, yo, I heard the Michael Jordan rookie card is worth forty grand, right? Um, I got it signed because I was a kid and I just kept it under my bed and I, you know, I came across it. And I, I give it to you for twenty. And they're going to be like, nah, you know, I, I got to move it. It's only worth 10 but I'll tell you what I do. I'm going to give you 15 You give me all your tops cards that you have since you were motherfucking two. You get what I'm saying? So that way you ain't got to worry about a thing. You made more than enough money because you wanted the 15 They start to buy in bulk, and then they go through and find the motherfucking gems. You see what I'm saying? Because they ain't lose shit. They may, fo- they may pull out, they got the $15,000 card. But they may pull out another, you know, uh, two thousand dollar card out of that bitch. You see what I'm saying? So that they got for nothing. Like the sneaker game. I, I, multiple times, I've been to a lot of white folks, old white folks who had them old Jordans. So we ain't wear these shits. My son didn't want them. Great. And, and I remember years ago. But, but yep, and they just had them shits and throw them out. A lot of estate sales are good for that. A lot of things you don't know what you have that's now in in a valuable market. What's the uh, crazy? Those um, storage sales. Oh, um, some hidden gems in them storage yeah, sales. Yeah, 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 yeah. But people know that now. They said they be trying to run the price up on you. You you be like, God damn, nigga, <laughs> yo, yeah. But yeah, you can. A lot of people don't know what they have or what is sought after or or what can be used or wanted. So you hold on, you know, you hold on to it, you go and look for it. But you gotta, you know, you gotta be real smooth with it. Like, yo, let me take the whole lot off your hand, homie. You know what I mean? Let me take the whole lot. You act because you you know you know you want that one. But you <laughs> you be like, look, now I get a hundred dollars, give me get all the boxes. Exactly. I move them myself. You ain't gotta worry about that goddamn thing. But if he know you want that Michael Jackson and he know yep. that nigga was he knew that nigga was somebody. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, oh, you got the only moonwalking <laughs> no. You know, it, make, it makes it too much. So, it it, get, it gets wild. Well, good luck to you, though. I, I fuck with that uh, memorabilia shit. We're here last little bit. We're going to get out of here. Um, That's it, man. Uh, Everybody be good. Uh, Try to save your money. Hustle how you can. All right, y'all. Thank you for uh, tuning in. We'll see y'all next week.